We're hearing a lot of different headlines, and I realize that this is nowhere near the end of the process, but what we are anticipating is that the Democrats in the House are going to be proposing a 26.5% corporate rate versus the 21% that there is now and less than the 28% the Biden administration had originally sought. A lot of that, though, is going to be offset by higher taxes on the wealthy, and Robert Frank told us earlier that uh, that would mean people in New Jersey, the highest earners in New Jersey, would uh, be paying north of 57% in total in taxes. So just wondering where you come down on what you're hearing so far. Well, as you just said, it's, it's just the beginning of this debate. In fact, the Ways and Means Committee in the House hasn't even started debating that portion yet. I mean, I, there's something that came out last night was an outline. We'll see what happens in the committee. And then, of course, you know, Becky, as we've talked about before, and as the speaker committed to in August, what matters is what can get to 51 votes in the Senate, and that's what we'll consider in the House. So we're just in the beginning. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of debate about this in the next month and months. And what I'm going to be focused on is what is the impact on New Jersey? And of course, as you pointed out, and of course, uh, what can get to 51? Because that's ultimately what matters and what will matter in the, in the House, because we're not going to vote on something that can't get across the finish line in the Senate. So, in other words, you're not paying a lot of attention to any of this stuff right now because it's all just a negotiation at this point? Well, of course, I'm paying attention, but I'm saying that let's not let's not start counting the numbers yet until we actually see a bill, which we haven't seen yet. And of course, uh, until we see where this can get to in the Senate and how the debate uh, unfolds. What matters to me first and foremost now is getting our infrastructure package passed out of the House, uh, which we're going to vote on by September 27th. Get that across the finish line, which is key, especially after we saw the storms of Ida and the devastation it caused in, in the Northeast, in Jersey, in New York and Connecticut, getting where there's critical investment in climate resiliency in that package and, of course, the Gateway Tunnel and other, and other priorities. So let's get that done. And then let's continue to debate this reconciliation package. And we'll get there. I just think it's going to be a long debate and a lot of twists. You point out that this is something that you need to be able to get 51 votes in the Senate. But you need to be able to get the votes in the, in the House, too. And there's only three votes separating the Democrats from the Republicans at this point. So you need every last vote there as well. Has the party been assured that they'll have your vote on what comes down the pike? Or are you kind of holding out to see what happens? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't assure anything until I read a bill and uh, see what's in it. And as you know, there's critical priorities of mine, like SALT, that have to be the, in there at the end of the day. Um, so, you know, I, I, I think what, what's going to happen is and I've committed to uh, engaging in this debate in the, in the way we should, which is actually back and forth and, and seeing where we can get to and talking about the issues that matter to to my district. And I know that a lot of other members feel exactly the same way. So this is how we should legislate. It's how we should govern. We should debate things. We should discuss them. And, um, and you and I are going to talk about this a lot, I hope, in, in the next weeks until we get to a product that can get to 51 in the Senate and then obviously, as you point out, can pass the House. You and I may talk about it a lot, and you may have committed to engaging in this debate. What, what has the party leadership told you? On, on this particular piece? Uh, no, on, on just overall, not just on reconciliation, but to see what's in there, to hear that you have your concerns that you want to make sure that are in this bill, including SALT. I haven't heard anybody say anything about that recently. Have you been given any different guidance? Well, well sure, we've been talking plenty about SALT and other priorities, and uh, th they all know that there's many of us who have said pretty clearly, no SALT, no DICE. And uh, if SALT's not included in there and, and reinstated, it's going to be very difficult to get this bill passed. So I think everyone's well aware of that. I know our leadership is well aware of that. And that's why we have to have this debate, and we'll see where we are uh, in the end. But I think it was very smart for the Speaker to say in August that nothing can come to the House floor for a vote uh, until we actually know we can get to 51 in the Senate. That way we don't just pass things that sit on a shelf or go nowhere. I think that's really important, as it was to commit to the fact, and we voted on this in the House, that we're going to vote on an infrastructure bill in the House and get that to the president's desk by September 27th. Another huge priority of the president's in this historic infrastructure package. Becky, we've talked about it, how important it is to, to Jersey and to the country, uh, fixing our roads, our bridges, our rails, the gateway tunnel, and other priorities like water and, and resiliency from the climate. Uh, so to me, th that's what we should, we should do this in a smart way and, uh, and keep forward momentum. That's what the country wants.